So I did the third thing, communicate. The key to communicate when things are not going so well is to get feedback from sources not emotionally involved. So I turned to my passengers. Guys, what do you think we should do? <laughs> All right, I made part of that up. <laughs> Denver approached Cessna 65, Victor, how long are you going to keep vectoring me around? I'm a little low on fuel. Now on the ground is a government employee with a ball cap on backwards and his coffee cup on the console, and he's watching one of those green radar screens, you know, with that line going around, and watching the blips in his area of control. And one of those blips is me, and that blip has just said three magic words, low on fuel. At which point he sat straight up, put his feet on the floor, looked at that blip, and said, I'm sure, under his breath, you idiot. <laughs> but what he really said was, Cessna 65 Victor, Denver approach, are you declaring Emergency. Well, I looked at the two fuel gauges. I looked at the ground 5,000 feet below. And I looked at my passengers. <laughs> but Denver approached Cessna 65 Victor. No, 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 <laughs> not yet. Nevertheless, getting feedback from an unemotionally involved source is critical at this. The instrument panels don't tell you how high to fly, how far to go, where you're at. They just give you information, just give you feedback, don't tell you what to do. The guy on the ground is helping me, unlike the passengers who were not helpful at all. <laughs> they headed me straight towards Stapleton International Airport. Now it's not there anymore, but at the time, it was the seventh busiest airport in the world, and I'd never been there. So as we approach the city, now it's a late August afternoon, Cessna 65 Victor Denver approach. Do you see the runway? <laughs> a little while later, he's giving me expert guidance from the ground. He says, Cessna 65 Victor, do you see runway 26 right? Well, from the air, it looks a little bit like a tic-tac-toe board on steroids. Even if you painted it, which one is 26 right? I was almost to the threshold, the start of runway 26 right, before I realized this was the runway I was to land on. We touched down, rolled off, refueled, figured I had about 15 minutes left of fuel, a fumes and a prayer before it was all over. Now my passengers knew this was not a typical approach to landing. <laughs> The unexpected happened in a rather dramatic way. But because of aviate, navigate, communicate, we landed safely and we flew again the next day. Expect the unexpected. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Say it. Aviate, navigate, communicate. You are a very sharp crowd. But expect the unexpected. I challenge you, remember, aviate, navigate, communicate in this order because flying like life is not just about surviving. It's about soaring. I challenge you. When you feel like you're running out of gas, you feel like things are going down, you feel threatened by things that might take you all the way, remember these three words, and in this order, And you will fly again. As you look at the year ahead, remember that it's not just about surviving. Soar!